Guys, what up? Hope it's going well. Wanted to just do a video. I've gotten some like questions on um, what what strings am I supposed to be strumming when I'm playing these chords, which is a really, really good question. Um, I think for even me, the longest time when I was just beginning guitar, and honestly, guys, even maybe up until like three or four or five years ago, I really didn't realize what I was supposed to be strumming. I was just kind of strumming. Like which strings I was supposed to be strumming. I, like I sort of, I could hear when I was, was strumming something I shouldn't be strumming, but I never really paid a ton of attention to it until the last, I don't know, maybe four or five years. Um, so it's a really good question. It's something that most people really don't pay attention to. So I wanted to do a video lesson um, for you guys um, on all of the keys that I use. So the key of G, the key of C chords, and the key of D chords. So I'm gonna do separate videos for each key just to kind of keep things a little organized um, and not super long. So, so this one is gonna be, you know, what strums, what, what strings do I strum in the key of G? So you know, when we play in the key of G, um, we have the G chord, and if these are new chords to you, if you're new to the channel, um, I'll link a video up top where I explain to you where my fingers are going, what strings they're on, um, and how I play these chords the easiest way possible to minimize your movement. So we know that in the key of G, we have the G chord, we have the C chord, we have the D chord, the E minor, the A minor. Um, two other chords that get used a decent bit are the G over B, which is just your G chord. Take the middle finger off, keep your pointer finger on there, and this is what I'm gonna show you. You mute that top string, and strum the bottom five. So the G over B is another one, and then we have this D over F sharp which you can do two ways, um, either like this or like this. So just, um, yeah, to begin, we'll just, we'll kick it off with the G chord. And this is gonna be easy, because the G chord, you're just strumming every string. And sometimes you'll see me play a G kind of like this. So all I'm doing is just, you know, I got that top note for the G, and I'm just muting out that second string from the top with my with kind of the chubbier part on the bottom part of my middle finger so sometimes you, you know if you can play that it just kind of gives it a little bit different sound so same thing same chord so G this one might be a little bit sound a little bit fuller because you're adding that note in there so that one's easy you're hitting all the strings this C chord, we are only, so you can do it two ways. We're only strumming the bottom five. So we don't want to strum this low E string because if you do, it gives it an E bass note and you can just, I'm gonna play it for you. And you can just tell that that does not sound right. Now in the other key, key of C, we do have a C over E, which sounds a little bit better, but we're gonna, we'll get to that um, in, the next, in the next lesson. So again, for this C9 chord, C at nine, you can either just intentionally try to focus on hitting those bottom five strings, which to me is kind of harder than doing what I'm gonna show you. And so, you can either do it that way, or you can mute out this top E string with either your thumb or just pushing your middle finger up just a smidge so it's muting out that low E string, but it's still holding down that bass note. That way you can... Freely, freely without focusing. Okay, shoot, I'm going to the C chord now. I have to focus just on those bottom five. So do what feels best to you. I can guarantee you in the long run, you're gonna be muting out this top E string with most likely your middle finger. Um, so yeah, so 
Um, and again, with this C at nine, you can play it this way, you know, kind of like that full G, or, you know, kind of like I was showing you with this G, sometimes I'll mute out that A string. I do the same thing with this C chord. It just depends, sometimes on the song, I want to hear that full additional note there. And other times, I just mute it out, so I'd be muting out that D string. Again, with the same part of my middle finger, so. So then we'll go to the D chord. So you either, whether you're doing this D sus, or just, you know, a D major, uh, with your middle finger on there and taking your pinky off, the, the, you're gonna be strumming the bottom four strings because that D chord, that's the bass note of the, of the chord, of the D chord. So we wanna be strumming from that D, chord, D string down. Um, I think I had a question in, in one of my other videos um, about this one. You can actually, so there is uh, a D over A chord that I'll use sometimes, but very, very rarely. And all you're doing for that chord is just, you know, instead of strumming the bottom four, you're strumming the bottom five and catching that A bass note there. But to be honest, I didn't even think about that probably until maybe a few years ago when there was a song that I was learning for church, for the worship team, that I had to use that D over A. So honestly, I would probably just totally scrap whatever um, you just heard me tell you about a D over A chord. Definitely not needed, but just kind of wanted to throw it in there. So next chord, we'll do that E minor, and this is similar to the G chord. You, you strum all the strings. So that's easy. Um, the A minor chord, whether you do my A minor, like this easiest A minor chord here, or whether you do an A minor seven like that, or you have your pinky on there, you can do any way. All we want to make sure we're doing is catching that A as the bass note. So we're strumming the bottom five strings. And then again, that G over B, going to that G over B is just um, getting into your G position, taking off that middle finger, keeping your pointer finger on that second string from the top. But we don't, we want to mute out this low E string, we don't want to hear it. So you can, again, similar to that C chord, you can do it one of two ways. You can just focus on strumming the bottom five, or you can mute it out with pushing your, the um, top part of your pointer finger into that string. Or the easiest way that I do it is just kind of keeping my thumb right there um, and I just mute it out. That way I can. That way I can just strum freely without like consciously having to think. Okay, I'm going to the G over B, so I need to just strum the bottom five. So that's how I would do it. And then the last chord that you usually need for the key of G is the D over F sharp which, you know, you can do it one of two ways. You can either get into your D sus position um, and then just wrap your thumb on the second fret of that low E string. So sometimes I've been telling you to use your thumb to mute it out. But if you just apply a little bit more pressure, you'll be able to hear that bass note, that F there. So that's one way you can do it. And obvious, and again, for this chord, we wanna hear all six strings so that's easy if you wanted to do it i remember when i was learning I, I used to do it kind of this way which seems to be easier for beginners and that's just you know you're keeping your two fingers here locked up and then you're putting your middle finger on the g string second fret where your pointer finger would normally go for a d chord so you're putting your middle finger on that and then you're just bringing your 
point your finger up to catch that F note there, the, the lowest, the low E string on the second fret. And you might have to like, you might have to arch your hand a little bit to, to, to be able to hear all six. I mean, sometimes I'll play it and like, even just like subconsciously, I won't even realize, but I'm actually muting out that second string from the top with my pointer finger. So if you do that, that's fine too. Definitely not gonna, uh, not gonna be the end of the world, so. So that's a little beginner lesson. It's a great foundational lesson if you're just beginning, or again, like I said earlier, I didn't really even like think about this stuff till I was like maybe six or seven years into playing guitar. I was just was never really taught it and never, I, just, I was just kind of like strumming and stuff. So it's a really good lesson if you're a beginner or if you're just kind of a little bit more advanced and you've never thought about like how the bass note affects like what the chord is you're actually playing. So, um, so yeah, I hope that helps. If you guys have questions on any of the stuff I went over in this lesson, you know what to do, leave a comment, um, leave a question. If this was helpful, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and um, you know, subscribe to the channel if that's helping you and, and these videos are helping you. I uh, would love to hear from you, would love to get to know you a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I hope this video helps you. I hope it helps your guitar playing. And uh, I'll do um, a couple other lessons with um, strings that you're gonna strum in the key of C, and then in the key of D. So, so stay tuned for some of those and um, I'll have those out probably within the next few weeks. So um, yeah, so take care and I'll talk to you guys next time.